Hello and welcome guys, Armagam videos here today with a tutorial about a fitness app icon that we are going to design for the iOS and also if you want to upload it there to the Google Play Store. But this one is going to match more like the iOS App Store because we are going to use slim or thin lines and very bright shiny colors. Or not that shiny, actually looking flat and yeah, I guess you actually guys, you, you should know that iOS 8 style right now, so. Or is it iOS 7? I guess 8. All right. And yeah, I brought you guys this little template right here where you can get like the perfect guidelines or the skeleton for a um, app icon for the App Store. And this rounding here is actually very important. I guess Apple is going to crop it for you, but just as a design guide, we're going to use this template right here. Also some color palettes or actually a gradient to um, create our own pattern later on to make it look like very modern and yeah, you're going to see it. And this will be our color gradient a combination of fresh, great looking colors for our health or fitness icon. And yeah, enough talking, let's just start. Of course, you can find this uh, template in my uh, in the description on my Facebook page and some guys actually uh, commented that they can't download anything but that's not my issue um, the problem is from Facebook I guess you can't just click on those links you have to copy them paste them into your browser manually and then download the, the stuff I'm going to provide you so yeah and yeah let's just start I'm going to grab this little white shape right here hold down alt while dragging it out make it black just as a reference there we go, and for the sake of this tutorial, let's center it. And yeah, you're going to click on this shape right here, press I to get the eyedropper tool, click on our gradient, and there we have it. Of course, now you can see it's 90 degrees turned to the right. So go to gradient, make sure that you have the, the first, uh, the foreground color selected. Go to this little setting right here, which says angle, and press 90 degrees. There you go. And yeah, now let's focus on our on our pattern that we are going to create. And therefore, I've got my own little technique to make a great, great looking modern pattern. Also, guys, just to throw it in a room, this is going to be a little short tutorial just um, to show you guys my kind of workflow for iOS icons. And yeah, we're going to drag out a rectangle, hold down shift so it's perfectly proportioned and press P to get the pen tool. Just leave this little anchor right here. There we go. Now we have this nice triangle and now hold down Alt while dragging this shape down. There you go. Now press O to get the reflect tool. Hold down Shift so it reflects, or actually, yeah. You need to hold down Shift so it reflects perfectly into those angles and pull it up again. There we go, we kind of split this rectangle into half and we got two triangles and now we need to recolor them. Yeah. Press A to get the direct selection tool and select this part of our triangle right here. Give it this color. Now copy this whole shape, hold down Alt and drag it to the right. Give this one that color and this part this color. There we go. So now let's bring this shape or actually let's first group it, press Command and G, just like that. Bring it to our icon. Make sure to align it to the left side of that icon and our shape right here. And now let's scale it down until it matches perfectly into the middle. Oh, did we already pass it? Ah, there it is. As you can see, this little green line indicates that we're perfectly matching up to the middle and the left side. Let me just quickly see. Oh, the left side is here. So adjust it that way. You could also use guidelines from here to the middle. Should be the middle. Yeah. And yeah, now we got a little problem right here because that's white on white, but it's not a big kind of a deal. So hold on Alt while holding also Shift to drag it to the right side. There we go. Now group this shape and match it perfectly to the top left side of our logo as you can see right here. 
you can see that's our logo right here and we're perfectly matching it to the top left if we wouldn't have this rounded edge right here grab this shape go to effect distort transform i guess five copies will be enough make sure to hit preview and let's bring it down vertically make sure that it's perfectly aligned oh 100 pixels really Let me see, 105, Ooh, what's happening here, 106, 110, I want to make sure that I get the, the whole shape actually, so let's give it something, all right, 190, even less, 118, I guess one more, 117, all right, perfect. Make sure to make it perfect so we don't have any spacings in between those little patterns right here. It's very important, guys. And I also guess 5 was way too much, so let's go back to the appearance, click on transform and switch it back to 4. Let's see, I guess even 3 will do the trick. Okay, there we have a little problem. As you can see, this little tiny bit right here, that will look very weird later on when we're going to apply this pattern onto our logo. Ah, sorry, I can. So, just use tree, click on OK, and go to Object, Expand Appearance, and now let's scale it up slightly. Hey, there you go. Select everything, press Ctrl Y to get into our into our outline mode, as you can read from here. And select our round icon right here, click on it again, so it gets this kind of key object, as you can see right here. Align to key object, click the selected object to set it as a key object. This means if we're going to align our pattern, it's going to use this thick blue line as a key object. This is going to stay and this is going to align to it. Boom, just like that. So guys, now click on your shape right here. Go to transparency and set the transparency mode to overlay. Let's bring down the opacity to around 75%. Just like that looks really fresh and cool. And now you guys are wondering what the hell are those weird um yeah remaining things doing right here remaining shapes doing right there and yeah let's select our shapes again bring them to the right select our um our icon itself the shape of it bring these in position again just like that now click on your pattern go to make mask and press ctrl f I made a mistake. Of course, you need to click into this black area right here. There we go. Now press Ctrl F and make our layer that we just pasted into here, make it black. And make sure to hit invert mask. So now you can see we got rid of those weird shapes out here. It's perfectly matched up, vectorized. You won't see anything right here. Very clean cut, actually, and yeah, I love it. All right, make sure to click on here again so you can use your normal layers again. And yeah, a little thing that I don't like is that it looks really way too bright. Or let's see if we bring down this to around 50. That looks so good. But I want to give it some more strength, some make the colors look more, have more contrast. So bring our shapes here to the right again make another copy of our um of our icon shape right here if you don't already have it then you can just press command f to bring it in front again realign this one press ctrl f now make sure to bring it to the front make it black give it an overlay again and turn this down to around yeah now you can play with it this is going to enhance the the contrast as you can see and that looks pretty great i really love it so yeah now let's focus on our heart right there and i've seen many tutorials on youtube 
about creating hearts with Illustrator when I began using Illustrator, but actually I have my own way that's very fast and efficient. I saw five minute tutorials which are just unnecessary, so create a, a, a circle while holding Alt and Shift so it makes it perfectly round. Bring it to right around here. Just use your eye to measure it. Maybe a bit to the left. Now grab a pen tool, or the pen tool, and kind of select a part. As you can see right here. Oh, made a mistake. Grab those two. Go to Pathfinder and unite them at first. So it got this middle line right here. And now use your pen tool from there on. And as you can see, there's a little gap right here when I drag this down to the middle. So that means we need to start from uh, from the beginning again. And yeah, okay. We should start somewhere from here. There we go. Now you can see there's not a gap anymore. And we can just drag this out right here. So make our heart. Go from there to over here and close this. Oops, I missed. Just like that. Unite this, uh, those shapes again. Grab a rectangle and subtract it from it. Now hold down Alt while dragging it over. Press O to get the Reflect tool. Hold down Shift while dragging your mouse so it kind of spins off. There you go. A perfect heart. Easy as that. If you're having some problems here, you can easily stretch that out with the new uh, tools from Illustrator CC or just uh, adjust your line with the pen tool very, very easy, actually. Let's see how it looks if we make a stroke out of it. Yeah, it looks fine. So you can switch between the, the foreground color and give it to, to the stroke by clicking Shift X, as you can read right there. So let's make it white. Change it to a stroke, click on the stroke settings and give it a bit of weight. Maybe a bit less. As you can see, I've got a little, a little weird corner right here. That's because I didn't match the, the, the circle perfectly. So yeah, you can just put some more time onto this one. Okay, let's first of all create a copy. So if we mess up something, we don't have any problems. Now go to object, expand, okay. Bring it over here. Shrink it down. Align it to the middle. Click, I've just clicked on the, our, our shape right here, clicked on it again to make it a key object again, and having this one selected, and now you can center it perfectly to the middle. Let's make it a bit smaller. There you go, a great looking iOS app icon, and you can now also increase the stroke if you want. Yeah, looks great, maybe one less, two points more. All right, that looks perfect. So let's bring this over here. Uh, as I've told you, we're going to make a little variation of this logo. And then we are already finished. A really quick and easy tour, as I told you guys. So let's bring this, let's select this whole shape, hold down Alt and Shift while dragging it over to the right to make a copy. And now let's delete this heart right here. Use this one again. You see it really paid off making a <laughs> safety copy and press Shift X again, bring it over here, bring it down, make sure it's in the middle, select or, oh, select this shape, hold down Shift while selecting our background, just click on the background again and there we go, align it to the middle. And what I want to do for this shape is actually make a little hard beat line. And therefore, we're just going to grab a weird looking color so we can tell them apart. Yeah, something like this. And yeah, just use your pen tool, and make a little heartbeat line. Something like this. Press Shift X to make it a stroke. Give it a big, big um, weight. 
there you go now click on here object expand okay select your heart and subtract them boom there we go select this whole shape or background again and make sure it's perfectly aligned to the middle and there we go guys two very great looking icons ready to go to the app store it's something for like a Lavu app or something dating app or something like this and this could be for half uh, app and yeah there are really no limits to yourself you can use line icons you can use normal icons you can either uh, change the pattern or something like this so very everything is open to you guys and yeah that's my easy workflow when going with app icon design in illustrator because it's very great in illustrator since you have vectors you can scale it up to any size you want if your app is very a big hit a number one app it's going to be printed on big walls and you can just scale it up easy as that if you have a little 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 tiny um, favicon for your web uh, for your home page you can make it 64 by 64 pixels and still remain uh, and still have those vector vector data right here for your icons so yeah i really love working with illustrator when making icons and logos so those are just my two cents of course you can do this in photoshop easily as well but well for this kind of stuff vectors are just very important okay guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like comment and subscribe and guys please listen to me i really need your help for future tutorials if you have great ideas, hit me up. I'm going to make a tutorial about it. And please make sure to, um, if you're having a great idea, please check it on YouTube first, because actually there are some guys told me that here, make this and that logo uh, tutorial, but I've already found several tutorials about this topic on YouTube. And yeah, it just doesn't pay off making this whole tutorial working for several hours when some guys already did this work and want to help all people. I don't want to get the revenue of this work. I just want to help all people. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this guys. And thanks again for 14,000 subscribers almost. I can't really just thanks guys. See you in the next video. Armageddon videos.